Well, Sean, um, obviously a great way to bounce back from Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought the boys gave a great account of themselves. Um, maybe played a bit too deep first half, showed them a bit too much respect, but uh, we regrouped at half time and um, we came out second half and went on the front foot a bit more and pressured them higher up the pitch and I think that's where we got the joy from. Um, so, you know, it was credit to the boys. Um, the subs that came on, uh, I don't know how many were made, but I thought they all gave a good account of themselves when they came on and uh, it was good to bounce back against Stockport. I think obviously sometimes it's pre-season and um, a few changes at half-time confuses things and I think we've taken the lessons out of Stockport. The manager wasn't too angry afterwards, he just said, learn your lessons and uh, I think we've done that tonight. And obviously a great result against a uh, against higher division side. Yeah, um, crew, crew are good football inside, they've got some good youngsters. Um, but again, pre-season doesn't really mean anything um, in terms of in terms of how the season's going to start. Um, we just need to ca carry on, uh, organ iron out a few issues and, and just look after ourselves. So it's um, it's certainly good signs coming into the coming to the start of the season, but we've got to keep on working hard. We've got two more, well, we've got uh, about 11 days before the kick-off. So uh, keep working hard on the training pitch and look forward to Wrexham at the race course. Obviously there are a lot of positives, especially in the second half when obviously we scored the three goals. Um, <coughs> Is that a good sign that the team's gelling? Do you think? Yeah, obviously. I think we, with the with Scotty and uh, and Ty Marsh up front, um, I think they were a threat first half. And then obviously with the likes of Elliot and uh, Lloydy and uh, the couple of trialists that came on as well, um, I think you know it's promising signs going forward. But also the fact that Pilks and we got um, Keith Lowe, uh, and I think we've got a very experienced back back four back line. So I think that's going to that's going to prove a big asset in the season as well. Obviously, on to Blackpool next. Um, well, this Saturday now, um, in the last pre-season fixture of this uh, this calendar year. Uh, how are you feeling going into that game? Yeah, again, it's another. It's going to be an opportunity to get another another 90 minutes under the belt. I mean, um, hopefully, I'll play that whole game on Saturday, leading up to the game at Wrexham. Um, we've just got to take on take on what we've done tonight and and keep on working on a few things, set pieces. Um, High lines, pattern of play. You know, obviously not everything wasn't perfect tonight, but we we, uh, we want to keep on improving. That's what the manager's challenge us to do. It's all minutes in the bank for the boys, so um, it was a productive evening. And again, on Blackpool on Saturday as well. And then obviously from Blackpool on Saturday, it'll be on to Wrexham in the first uh, competitive yeah. game of the season. Um, how are you looking forward to that one personally? Yeah, personally, I'm looking forward to going back there. Made, got some friends still there. Um, you know, the fans were always fantastic with me as well for the whole year. Uh, when, I, when the backs were against the wall, so first, first part of the season, I felt like um, I, I played my part in terms of trying to keep, you know, keep the team going. Um, obviously, a few few niggly injuries. I don't think the fans really saw what I could do. I, I think only really glimpses. But looking forward to going back there, seeing a few faces. I know it's been quite a short time since I left, but um, you know, I'm a Macclesfield player now, so I'm looking forward to going back there as a Macclesfield player and representing Macclesfield.